The drama in the Edo State House of Assembly is anything but over as the two factions had parallel sessions while the People's Democratic Party lawmakers sat in the complex under construction. All Progressive Congress lawmakers held their session at the old assembly complex within the government house premises in Benin, the state capital. Our political correspondent, Shemo Kimbaloye, has the rest of the story. It appears the die is cast as more drama looks set to unfold in the current crisis rocking the Edo State House of Assembly. The Edo State House of Assembly complex abandoned by the APC group because of renovation work. For a second day this week, the PDP group arrives to conduct their own activities. Although the assembly complex is in a bad shape, with rubbles and wreckages from the repair works littering almost everywhere. Mr. Speaker! To kickstart things, Honorable Festo Zebia enters into the room signaling the arrival of the presiding officer. A sergeant at arms bearing the mace leads, and clearly the gavel is present. The eyes have it. One is not sure if these are the same paraphernalia used before the house split, but in any case, it was enough for them to kickstart the sitting. Honorable Razak Momo appears unhappy with the allegation that he was one of the signatories to the impeachment of Honorable Festus Ebia. I want this humble house to assist my person in whatever manner they can in ensuring that this 15 APC legislators are properly investigated by the appropriate authorities and brought to book. As that went on at the Osadebe House, the old assembly complex in the government house premises played host to the APC group, who now claims majority in the house. At the roll call, the PDP members were registered as absent. Here, the lawmakers dealt yet another blow to the members who led the parallel sitting. A new round of suspension is slammed. And also to re-emphasize that the four members under suspension haven't participated in the illegal sitting are also further suspended. And, we, and their suspension revalidated. Yeah, in support of this motion, please say aye. Aye. Again, say nay. The ayes have it. We do not sit there anymore. We do not intend to confront anybody there. Whoever wants to go there does what is on the instance. But we sit here and therefore we know that there will be no troubles around the area. We ask that the police open up the roads to to alleviate the sufferings of the Edo State people. With this sort of stalemate, what could be the implication of the parallel sittings and if laws are made from both sides, what do we make of them? A Lagos lawyer, GTO Ogunye, talks to Channel Television on these perspectives. So a parliament could be divided. That's not the problem. But when that division is now occasionally a situation whereby uh, the uh, factions are passing what we call caricature legislations and attempting to make laws uh, and you know legislate for the state, it, it becomes very worrisome. This kind of thing is unacceptable in a democracy. It is a norm in any democracy that the majority will have their way while the minority will have their say. They are giving democracy a bad name in order to destroy it. The case looks so much now like the saying that when two elephants fight, the grass suffers. Of all the turbulence raging in the Edo Assembly, the ordinary people in the state now bear the brunt, most of whom now have to work longer distances due to the blockade of major routes. Shewu Okimale, Channels Television News.